sometimes in the art business uh, we have strange beginnings. The first ever sculpture exhibition we had was in 1969, and it was probably the first sculpture exhibition ever in the West of Ireland at the time. And <clears throat> I remember saying to John Behan afterwards, geez, I hope, I hope, because people didn't, how do you look at this? You can't hang it up, and that, this kind of thing they were saying. And I'm saying to John Behan, I hope we sell uh, some of these. And he said, please don't talk like that. We are sowing seeds here tonight. And that is exactly what we're doing with Paula and her first exhibition with us here in Galway. And it's a real pleasure to have it, to have not just the exhibition itself, but the extraordinarily wide variety of <clears throat> media and subject matter and interest and wit and fun as well that's in it. <clears throat> and it, this is extremely informal, really. This is as much for the benefit of those watching on the screen uh, as, as yourselves. So I'm going to ask now Colin. <clears throat> he has just admitted something to me that I can't tell you about. <laughs> I simply cannot tell you about. But uh, I can say that the man has a great interest in culture, uh, although he kind of knocked me a bit sideways a few minutes ago. Uh, so would you please just welcome Colin? to open the exhibition. Thanks, Tom. <coughs> thanks, Tom. And thanks, Paula. I suppose for those of you that don't know me, my name is Colin Farrell, and I am an auctioneer and valuer in Gort, County Galway. And I suppose uh, my culture interest is probably in Yates. And, and the reason I have that cultural interest is because I grew up at Tour Lee or under the tower, and all my life I hated his poetry when I was going to school. And I, I, I said, what kind of rubbish is that, you know? And Tom, I didn't read much, but as you know. So as, as I got older in life, or as I got more mature, I, I, I had grown, I suppose, grow, grew to love his poetry and love what he did. And I suppose that's why I'm here. The secret that Tom is on about is that I've never read a book. So. Tom was going to eject me from the bookshop. I, I've never got to the end of a book, so Tom is going to sort that out. But enough of that. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you are all very, very welcome here this evening. Uh, I've recently got to know uh, Paula through, uh, through other, other matters, not art, but we, we got to know each other. And she's an amazing woman. Um, I would like to welcome you all here to Kinney Bookshop and Gallery, and it's a pleasure for me to be here. Um, I, it's a great privilege to introduce Paula and her lively collection of works um, this evening and it fills me with pride to be asked, uh, however I don't claim to know a whole lot about art, Paula, but, but however, uh, I do have a knowledge of the natural world, world. Uh, I'm a farmer and I'm interested in animals and birds, the feathery ones and insects and all of that <laughs> kind of stuff. Uh, in conversations with Paula, uh, recently I've learned a good bit about her. And isn't her exhibition and her works and the absolutely stunning ladies and gentlemen? Absolutely. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> and I would also like to let you know, and you probably know already, that some of Paula's works have been chosen for the uh, National Gallery of Ireland. And that's some credit to Paula. Well done, Paula. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is a fine... Uh, exhibition of line of cut prints. What are you reading? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't learn it all off. <laughs> Egg tempera and watercolours, and is a testament to her hard work throughout the pandemic and her earlier works, her earlier works. Uh, so I wonder why am I here again? Yeah. Uh, I suppose I believe the exhibition draws on comparisons, uh, black and white. I suppose is is uh, with line of, with colour line of cuts, older work and recent work. Uh, city themes, country life, county Mayo, rural life, held in contrast with Galway, and I suppose Mayo and Tyrone tomorrow, two opposites, and <laughs> of course we wish Mayo all the very best tomorrow. New York, and with Paula's home city of Dublin, the contrast in the two cities. The exhibition also shows Paula's love for nature and the natural world in the country and the city. She acknowledges the beauty of the Man Made Two in her series of The Sheds, which is an amazing exhibition. And Paula has drawn comparisons that farmers and artists 
are, um, have common interests. Both love animals, both watch the weather for changes that occur hourly, and both have care for flora and fauna, and both work very long hours. <laughs> so this is it. This is the exhibition. It's a wonderful show. It's opening now and will be open until October the 6th, yeah. Tom, is it? Yeah. And this amazing gallery and bookshop is open, open every, from Monday to Friday from 9 to 5. And Saturday. And Saturday, Monday yeah. to Saturday yeah. from yeah. Yeah. 9 to 5. So that's it. I'm delighted to open this exhibition and the best to look to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First exhibition I ever opened either, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sorry that under the present conditions we can't be offering you glasses of wine and refreshments, etc. But we're not allowed at the moment. But it's just lovely for, to have you. It's a small beginning, as I say, in, in hopefully a whole program of exhibitions that we're going to have in the future. And, uh, and this will be here for a month anyway. And we hope at that stage lots more people will have come to see it as well. So thanks again for your, in your interest. Can I say something? You, no, please do. Uh, thank you, everybody. And uh, I'm pleased to announce the opening of my exhibition here. A lot of work went into it, Tom, and a lot of work starting at 6 o'clock in the morning sometimes. It was postponed because of lockdown. And um, I'm proud, I'm very, very excited about my work here. But you know, Tom, it, it could have been a hundred. And yeah, still I know. some at home. Yeah, yeah. But I want to thank you, Tom, for one big juxtaposition. And that is, you know Walter was the managing director of Hunters Vegas, with yes. love of books. Yes. And his wife is here present in a bookstore yeah. full, well, a gallery full yeah. of books. I think he would have uh, I laughed at that. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart, but I have a big, big thank you for the National Gallery of Ireland. It's something that I'm very, very proud of, and I hope it's only the beginning. I hope there will be more yeah, uh, art uh, to come, and there is a change going on, and there are two uh, media. They are totally different, but if I just say that lino cut is work, work, work. 1% really is inspiration. 99% is uh, really hard work. But I will tell you about egg tempera in one sense. Egg tempera is 100% inspiration. And it's very, very light and very, 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 very enjoyable to do. And I, uh, I thank uh, Dean for his great, uh, he's a great man with uh, internet and for the lovely posters. And I'm very proud of you, Colm. He's, he's a very good friend of mine, and you did a wonderful yes. job, and I thank you very, no very much. I thank you all. And if there's any questions, I'm available uh, to, uh, to listen to you. Thank you. Thank you again, everybody. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Colm. No bother.